Local health care workers joined forces with the community tonight as they stood in solidarity to fight for a new contract. 2822 News reporter Emily Allegrucci was there. She joins us live in the studio to tell us more about the vigil that was held right outside the hospital. Emily. Good evening, Nick. Workers from Regional Hospital of Scranton and community members came out to support the hospital with speeches and a candlelit vigil. The employees have been in negotiations with the owners of Regional for months and hope the community support could help. Following months of failed negotiations, Regional Hospital employees of Scranton wanted to make a statement with community support. They're hoping this candlelight rally does the job. The issues that we currently have at Regional Hospital did not happen overnight. People like me who have worked for Regional Hospital for decades do not even make $15 an hour. Hey. The workers have been at the negotiating table with CHS, the owner of Regional, since the summer. They claim CHS promised to make an $80 million investment in the Scranton community, but have not stuck to their word. We decided that it is time to come out to the community, explain what the situation is, and hopefully come to some kind of agreement so we can move forward in these negotiations. Regional employees are also fighting for better pay, asking for a minimum wage of $15 an hour. Senator Marty Flynn took the stage in support of the health care workers. And we have to start by fixing it, by making you all get a living and fair wage. Many employees like Corrine Chinficki have worked here for decades and appreciate the support from the community. Oh, they think we are doing the right thing and that they want us to stand up for them. It's really important to have everybody involved and show the hospital that we really want more. Chinficki believes this demonstration proves they're fighting for not only better working conditions, but also their community. My three children were born here. I met my husband here. This hospital is everything to me. This has been me. I, I grew up here. We're here for our patients, our patient safety, and to work under the best conditions. Regional employees say their next step is to get back to the negotiating table. Nick, back to you. All right, Emily, thanks for the update.